Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering and Economy. Today we are going to discuss about standard test condition. It's called STC in solar module. So we are going to simplify why we use this STC, standard test condition. So standard test condition of the solar photovoltaic panel is used by manufacturer as a way to define the electrical performance of the solar panels. So you can simply imagine like you are buying a medicine from the shop, then it is uh, usually written that you have to store the medicine in a fridge or cold uh, place. So if you store the medicine in a cold place only or in the refrigerator only, the performance of the medicine will be optimum or what is expected. Similarly, when you buy a car or automobiles, they said like every six months or every 10,000 kilometer you have to do the service so that uh, the performance of the car will be optimum or the maximum. In, in the same way, uh, there's a certain condition. In that condition only your solar panel will provide a expected output or the defined output. Okay, not the expected output. It is defined output, defined value of output by a manufacturer. So like what I said, uh, buying a medicine or buying a car, now you're buying the solar panels. So in that case, uh, a solar panel manufacturer says that we tested our panel at a particular condition. At this condition, the panel produced, let's say 250 watts. It means if you maintain the same condition, your panel will produce 250 watts. Otherwise, it will produce lesser than 250 watts. That is a meaning. So uh, let's look at what, what their conditions. So they have three conditions. So the cell temperature should be at two. 25 degrees Celsius and the solar radiation should be 1000 watts per meter square and air mass should be 1.5 spectrum. So now uh, what do you understand from here? Uh, you buy a solar panels from a manufacturer and you bring to your house on the rooftop. You have to maintain 25 degrees Celsius a cell temperature and uh, solar radiation 1000 watt meter square and air mass of 1.5 then it will produce to 250 watts. If you can't maintain that but, uh, three conditions, panel will produce less than the 250 watts. Okay, now let's look at what is the cell temperature. Uh, many uh, people do not know what is cell temperature, so I want to clarify that. Cell temperature is different from the atmospheric temperature. Cell temperature is that what is the temperature of the solar panels each cells uh, solar panel usually have like 36 cells or 48 cells or different number of cells so they are talking about what is the temperature of a, a cell on the solar module okay so uh, usually if uh, a solar uh, cell temperature is always more than the atmospheric temperature this you can easily relate to the uh, real scenario let's say you park a car in a hot uh, weather. Now uh, there's no aircon uh, in the car. Just imagine you just park the car and come out after two, two, three hours, you went to the car. When you open the car, the car extremely hot. Usually, uh, let's say the atmospheric temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, but your car uh, shows 40 degrees Celsius. Maybe five or 10 degree more than the atmospheric temperature. Why? Because car, the material, um, uh, uh, consume a lot, I mean, it, 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 it take a lot of heat and uh, because of that heat, the temperature of that metal, uh, which is left outside the, uh, the uh, um, sun, it uh, have higher temperature. Now, if you relate this to the solar panels, solar panels in your rooftop, it, it will have a higher temperature than the atmosphere. So this is one of the reasons why a uh, solar installer as, uh, maintain the air gap. I mean, the, there's a air flow. They, they, they don't put on on top of the, your roof. Just put because they don't just put on the roof. Uh, they put the brackets and the assembly setup that uh, that uh, that uh, metal assembly setup to uh, make the air flow. So when the air flow, uh, the heat will be removed. So basically, they want to reduce the uh, cell temperature. So while installing, we have to take care about reducing the cell temperature by letting the uh, air flow or uh, possibility of air flowing through the panels. Okay, 
So now, uh, in uh, general, if you go and search in the Google, uh, tro uh, tropical countries like Sri Lanka, India, and uh, hot weather countries, uh, we may reach 50 to 60 degrees Celsius uh, cell temperature. Imagine that what is that uh, manufacturer says? At 25 degrees uh, Celsius only, they can get a high uh, uh, optimum output. Now, my panel reaches 50 degrees Celsius cell temperature, then my panel efficiency will go down. This is a problem. Many people do not know this fact, like when the temperature increases, our panel uh, will perform poorly. Uh, temperature increases doesn't mean uh, uh, solar radiation increases. So what we want, we want maximum solar radiation, but 25 degrees Celsius of temperature. So you are getting 1000 watt per meter square solar radiation, but the temperature is 40 degree, then the panel efficiency goes down. So let's take this. Uh, this is the impact of increasing uh, increases of cell temperature. Let's take an example like polycrystalline silicon 260 watts module is stated that temperature coefficient of maximum output power of P max at standard test condition is minus 0.41 percentage per degree Celsius. What is this means? It means like from 25 degrees Celsius increases of each temperature each one uh, it means like each one degree celsius increases will reduce the efficiency by 0 0.41 percentage so you can calculate that like if uh, 10 degrees celsius increased i mean the, if the cell temperature is 35 degrees celsius then you will lose 4.1 percentage 0 0.41 into 10 it become 4.1 percentage efficiency will be lost likewise if the temperature is uh, 60 degrees celsius i mean the cell temperature then uh, efficiency will uh, lose further i mean you lose more power output so this is the reason many people ask that uh, i install a particular size of solar panels but i am not getting the expected output so uh, the answer is uh, we cannot expect the same output what is uh, mentioned in the solar module that 250 watts panel will not always produce 250 watts okay i mean the most of the time it will not produce 250 watts it will produce less than 250 watts okay but if you maintain these three conditions it's very difficult to maintain 25 degrees celsius 1000 watts per meter square and 1.5 air mass spectrum so the at this three condition it will uh, produce the expected 250 watts output okay if you search these things in the uh, uh, books, they explain this in a very critical way, like it's uh, like a difficult theory or something. But it's very simple. As I said, like if you're buying medicine or buying a car, buying s some stuff, it is mentioned by the, the uh, owner, I mean the manufacturer, that you had used in this way. Likewise, you had to s store in particular place, something like that. Uh, the same way, when we buy a solar panels, uh, manufacturer say that I tested my panel at this condition at this particular condition my panel uh, providing 250 watts that's it their job is done so now uh, uh, another question are we receiving 1000 watt per meter square all the time I mean no we are not receiving the solar radiation the 1000 watt per meter square again because of solar radiation we are not receiving 1000 watts per meter square again the uh, panel output will reduce Okay, when the solar radiation reduces, panel output will reduce. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. Please subscribe this channel and provide your support.